are at the top. So you were probably steered benignly away from things at school when you were a kid, things you liked, on the ground you would never get a job doing that. Is that right? Don't do music, you're not going to be a musician, don't do art, you won't be an artist. Uh, benign advice. Now, profoundly mistaken. The whole world is engulfed in a revolution. Creativity now is as important in education as literacy. And we should treat it with the same status. I had a great story recently, uh, I love telling it, of a little girl who was uh, in a drawing lesson. She was six and she was at the back drawing and the, the teacher said, this little girl hardly ever paid attention. And in this drawing lesson she did. And uh, the teacher was fascinated. She went over to her and she said, what are you drawing? And the girl said, I'm drawing a picture of God. And the teacher said, but nobody knows what God looks like. And the girl said, they will in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll take a chance. You know, if they don't know, they'll have a go. Am I right? They're not frightened of being wrong. Now, I don't mean to say that being wrong is the same thing as being creative. What we do know is, if you're not prepared to be wrong, you'll never come up with anything original. If you're not prepared to be wrong. And by the time they get to be adults, most kids have lost that capacity. Uh, they have become frightened of being wrong. And we run our companies this, by the way. We stigmatize mistakes. And we're now running national education systems where mistakes are the worst thing you can make. And the result is that we are educating people out of their creative capacities. Picasso once said this. He said that all children are born artists. The problem is to remain an artist as we grow up. I believe this passionately, that we don't grow into creativity, we grow out of it or rather we get educated out of it. I've been an educator for 31.3 years, and in that time, I've seen a lot of bad eggs. I say eggs because at the elementary level, we are not dealing with fully developed individuals. I see a bad egg when I look at your niece. She is a twiddler, a dreamer, a silly heart. She is a jabba box. And frankly, I don't think she takes a thing in her life or her career as a student seriously. She's only six. That is not a valid excuse. I hear that every day and I dismiss it. I don't think I want to know a six-year-old who isn't a dreamer or a silly heart. And I sure don't want to know one who takes their student career seriously. I don't have a college degree. I don't even have a job. But I know a good kid when I see one. Because they're all good kids. Until dried out, brain-dead skags like you drag them down and convince them they're no good. You so much as scowl at my niece or any other kid in this school and I hear about it and I'm coming looking for you. 